Good morning, Oak Class, and welcome to Tuesday, the 16th of June's Home Learning. Today, we're going to continue with working on our persuasive writing to persuade people to come to our planet. And we're going to look a bit more closely at expanded noun phrases. So, what is an expanded noun phrase? A noun phrase is a group of words which describes a person, an animal, place or object, and they are the noun. And it's joined by a verb, which is the doing word. And what we've got here is a whale. And a very simple sentence is, the whale is swimming. And what we want to do is make this sentence a lot more exciting. So the noun in this sentence is the whale, that is the object. And the verb in the sentence is swimming, because that's what the whale is doing. So that's the verb, the doing word. So expanded noun phrase makes noun phrases more interesting to read and to write. So we can add adjectives, describing words to describe the noun. Now, last lesson, you were describing and you were writing features of your new planet. You'd chosen your planet's name and you were writing features that we could find on your planet. And in front of those features, you were putting an adjective. So that adjective in front of your noun is going to help you create your expanded noun phrase. So we're going to expand the noun phrase, this very simple one, the whale is swimming. So we need to think of an adjective that we can use to describe this whale. Now, personally, I think that whale is magnificent and it's a, it's a giant of the ocean. So the magnificent whale is swimming. Now, we can add more adjectives to expand our noun phrase to make it even more interesting. So we can actually now add some extra detail to the verb about what the verb is doing. So the magnificent giant whale. So now I've got two adjectives that describe my whale. So I've expanded that noun phrase there is swimming. Now, we could leave it at that. But we want to give the reader some more information. We want to let them use their imagination and picture our whale in their minds. So we can continue and expand that sentence longer and say, the magnificent giant whale is swimming in the sparkling blue ocean. OK, so the reader now could actually close their eyes and picture a very large and magnificent whale. And they can picture sparkling blue ocean where the, where the whale is actually swimming. So from a very simple sentence, the whale is swimming, we've now created an expanded noun phrase. So the magnificent giant whale, two adjectives in front of our noun, is swimming in the sparkling blue ocean. So sparkling blue are our two adjectives which describe our ocean. Now I've got my brainstorm of the features that I've got on Planet Vibos. So you'll have your brainstorm or your list of the features that you had for the planet that you created. Now remember last time we did put adjectives in front of our features to give them a bit more detail. Now, on our poster, which we're going to be creating eventually to persuade people to visit our planet, we need to entice them there using their senses. Now, can you remember, we've got five senses. We've got the sense of sight, what we can see, the sense of smell, what we can smell, uh, the sense of hearing, what we can hear. Then we've got taste and touch. Now, in order to persuade people to come to the, your planet, you can let them know what they can see. What are they gonna hear? What are they gonna smell? What are they going to touch? What are they going to feel? Now, we're not going to do taste this time because we haven't talked about food at all. We've just talked about things and features of the physical world that we, you've created. So we're not going to use taste today. But what we're going to do is look at our other senses. Now, the first sense I'm going to talk about today is what we can see. So if I look at my list, so what can we see? Well, we can see violet sunsets. We can see the magma pools. We can see the Mercury rivers and the warm ocean waters. We can actually see 
all of these things. We could actually see the year round sunshine. We could talk about seeing the sun. I'm going to choose violet sunsets. So I'm going to choose the thing that I'm going to entice the visitors to come and say what they can see is violet sunsets. So you will have a sheet like this with what they can see, hear, smell, feel and touch. So I'm going to say, I'm going to describe and create a, a expanded noun phrase for my violet sunsets. So violet sunsets, I've got to think, how can I describe my violet sunsets? Well, I use that word magnificent for the whale. And I think actually my violet sunsets are magnificent. So I might start magnificent violet sunsets. I could just say are in the sky. But what I want to do is paint a picture to really entice and persuade the visitors to visit Vibos. So I'm not going to just say the violet sunsets are in the sky. Magnificent violet sunsets streak across. Now, when do we get sunsets? We get sunsets, we don't get them in the morning. And on my planet, we don't get them in the morning either. Although you could have them in the morning, depending on how many suns you have on your planet. But I'm going to have my sunset in the evening. So magnificent violet sunsets streak across the evening sky. I could describe the evening sky as well, actually, couldn't I? Now, I've actually written a sentence here. So in my seat, oh, I've got the glorious outside. The magnificent violet sunsets streak across the glorious evening skies. So I have got my noun phrases here, magnificent violet, they describe the sunsets. And then I've got a description of the skies, the glorious evening skies. So if you were wanting to visit my planet and I wanted to persuade you to do that, do you think that sentence might make you think, oh, maybe I'd like to see these magnificent sunsets? OK, the next sense I'm going to look at is the sense of smell. So I'm going to go back to my brainstorm and I'm thinking, right, what can I smell? Well, I can't really smell really year round sunshine. Um, the amethyst mines, I'm not sure if they would have a smell. They could do, I suppose. The pure white salt beaches, you could maybe smell them. The warm ocean waters, we might be able to get a smell from the Mercury rivers but I'm going to choose the magma pools. So I'm going to try and write an expanded noun phrase to describe the smell to persuade people to come for the magma pools. So another word for smell and a nice word for smell is the word aroma. So I'm going to use the word aroma in a sentence for the magma pools. So to describe the aroma, I've got to think, how can I make it smell, make it sound like the magma pool smell nice? So I am thinking I'm going to call the beautiful, beautiful aromas of the magma pools. Yeah, if you think something smells beautiful, you're going to want to visit it. I'm going to think of another adjective because I'd like to have two adjectives to describe my magma pool. So beautiful, rousing aromas. Rousing means that it wakes you up. So beautiful, arousing aromas. Now, have you ever watched a, uh, a cartoon where they are making a potion or something and you can see the steam, the different colour steam swirling through the air? In my head, I'm imagining these lovely smells, these lovely aromas swirling through the air around my magma pools. So, Picturing my scene, I have beautiful, rousing aromas swirl through the air from the, I could have, I could just write from the magma pools. But I want to, I want to describe these magma pools. I want to let the visitors know that they're brilliant. They're really cool. They, I really want them to visit them. So I'm going to use the word dramatic. Dramatic pools of oozing magma. Right, let's see if I can put that sentence together and remember it and pop it on our worksheet. 
So I now have that sentence written down for what they would smell if they came to my planet. So beautiful, rousing aromas swirl through the air from the dramatic pools of oozing magma. So I had my magma pools. I've now using that smell. So my adjectives are beautiful and rousing. We've got them swirling through the air from dramatic pools. That's another adjective of not just magma, but oozing magma. So I'm hoping visitors who read this on my poster would think, wow, I'd like to go and smell those smells on VBOS. Okay, we're now going to look at our next sense, our sense of hearing. What would we hear on VBOS? So I've used sunsets already. I've used the magma pools. Um, Mercury is, I could maybe hear the river rushing through valleys or through over maybe even a waterfall. Um, you can't really hear year round sunshine. There might be sounds within the amethyst caves, maybe echoing sounds. Um, the pure white salt beaches and the warm ocean waters. Now I'm thinking if I want to entice someone, if I want to persuade someone to come to my planet, I'm thinking, hmm, lapping waves, waves crashing onto the ocean, onto the beach, might really entice them to come and want to listen to that soothing sound. So if I'm taking the warm ocean waters, how can I pop? an expanded noun phrase in front of that to talk about what they would hear. So I think I want my sound and what they can hear to be a relaxing sound. So I'm thinking gentle and soothing waves. If you are lying on a beach and you could have these gentle waves from the warm ocean waters, because that's what we've decided we've got. We've got warm ocean waters on VBOS. Well, I have anyway. So I've decided I've got warm ocean waters. So I've got gentle, soothing waves from the warm ocean waters. Now, what's? I don't really want them crashing onto my beach because then that wouldn't be very soothing. So I've got to think of a nice verb to, to describe how my, my waves are going to be soothing. So I'm going to use the verb lap. So gentle soothing waves from the warm ocean waters lap hmm they lap i'm going to say they lap calmly on the shore that gives me a sense of peacefulness if they were crushing and they were spraying water everywhere i might not find that very relaxing and i i like the, want the, the sound from vibos from my particular uh, ocean here to be relaxing so let's see if we can pop that sentence onto the worksheet, remembering all those lovely adjectives. So here's the sentence. Gentle, soothing waves from the warm ocean waters lap calmly on the shore. So that's what I'm going to advertise and that's what I'm going to use for what they can hear when they come to the planet Vibos. Now, our last sense that we're going to look at is what we can feel or touch. So if we go back to our brainstorm. Now, we've used the violet sunsets, the magma pools. You won't want to touch the mercury river, as we said beforehand, that's the liquid metal. We've got the warm ocean waters. We might be able to touch something in the amethyst mines, but generally when you go into a mine, you don't touch the... Uh, the, the rocks underneath. So I'm going to use the pure white salt beaches as something that we could feel or touch. So I've got to think, what is it when I go to a beach? What can I feel? What can I touch? So I'm picturing myself on this lovely beach and I'm picturing my toes sinking into the, well, I've got salt beaches here. So I've got my toes sinking into the white salt. So how can I put that into a phrase? Now, I can think, okay, toes sink deep into the soft, warm salt of the pure white beaches. So I'm imagining my toes sinking in to the deep salt. I can feel that. 
I can feel the warm. And how have I described that we're going to feel it? It's warm, soft, soft and warm. That's my feeling of touch. And I think that's quite a pleasant feeling. Walking along the beach and your toes sinking into warm, soft. Now, usually in, in on Earth, it would be sand. But on Vibos, it's actually salt beaches. So let's see if we can put... So we've already got nice, uh, pure white salt beaches. We already had quite a lot of adjectives here to describe our beaches. So now we have to just make sure that we've got that sense of touch. So let's see if we can remember that phrase. OK. So my, my expanded noun phrase for the feeling of touch. We've got toes sink deep into the soft, warm salt of the pure white beaches. So I've used the adjectives I, uh, that I had on my brainstorm and I've created now a sense of what the visitors could possibly feel or touch if they visited Vibos. Now your job today is to do what I've done with four of your features from your brainstorm. So you need to look through your list or your brainstorm and think, how can I describe something that they might see there? And then you can use your adjectives to write an expanded noun phrase, making sure you have your verb. You could also describe your verb or give it position as well across the sky. You can maybe use prepositions. What can we hear on your planet? So I've just given an example here, birds softly twitter in the trees. For, I'll go back to the sea. Luscious green plants stretch as far as the eye can see. On your planet, this one's a bit of a tricky one. What can you smell? You've got to make the smell a nice smell. Um, you've got to be able to attract the visitors. So something that you've got on your features, or something you've got in your brainstorm, could you possibly put a smell to it? And can you remember that word I used? Instead of smell, we've got a lovely word, aroma. Okay. And lastly, what can you feel or touch on your planet that people would like to feel and touch? Okay, so four really lovely expanded noun phrases. Think how you can really put the image of what you want to get across to your reader. I want to be able to read your sentence, close my eyes and picture what I could either see or imagine what I can hear, imagine what I could smell or touch. So try and use exciting words, exciting adjectives and verbs and I look forward to seeing your plan. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.